Hi guys, so I'm here at Westwood Lakes today and I'm on Skylight Lake here and hopefully today I'm going to run you through how to catch a load of fish just using one tin of corn. Obviously it's an overlooked bait sometimes, fish love it and it's cheap as chips to be honest. So I'm going to run you through how I go about fishing with just one tin of corn. Right, so you join me on box now and like I say we're just going to fish corn and to be honest you can fish it anywhere, I could fish it short, on a top kit catch it, I could catch on it to island but today I've plumbed up bottom of that close shelf so I've got about four and a half five foot there so it's pretty deep obviously there's a, a spinner just to my left so when that moves around that obviously moves all the silt so if you do fish near a spinner it tends to be a bit deeper for that reason so like I say I've plumbed up bottom of the shelf only a top kit in two sections so I'm not going far and I'm going to fish just corn so pick out a nice bit of corn Buy a nice bit of corn, just make sure that obviously it's got the inside and it's nice and firm. Using F1 corn today, so lovely it is this. Go. Nice little bit of corn on hook. And to start with, I'm going to feed with a dozen pieces of corn. So it's more about putting it in regular than it is quantities, obviously. I could put a full pot in at the start, fish over it, and it could take ages to get a bite. But I'm going to introduce it slowly, like 10... 10 to 15 grains of corn at a time until a few fish there then I might reduce the amount so line up with my fire bank mark so I've plumbed up in line with that light over there and then put my grains of corn in and sit and wait so it could take a few minutes for a bite obviously we're pleasure fishing today so you might get a bite it's a bit quicker but in a match situation I feed it every five minutes at start and then obviously as you start getting bites you can start feeding more often or not as often depending on your bite ratio so there we are that floats that lovely bottom of that shelf in the deep water Oop, there we go <laughs> fish on straight away <laughs> not a bad one nice little what is it little f1 not a bad start i'm hoping to catch a few carp along the way a few f1s as well ah here's a little carp to be honest <laughs> thought you were an f1 but little common carp beautiful little fish he wanted that right down his mouth bit of corn still on end of hook lovely little fish put him back repeat the process so just 10 grains of corn or so and I'll see if we can get another I will change that grain of corn just to like them quite hard and small so I'll pick a nice little firm piece of corn but the smell must have been irresistible to him that little bit of a crunch and same again so it worked last time so I'm just going to feed 10 grains of corn or so back out and repeat the process like I say we are pleasure fishing today so you tend to get more bites than in a match situation there's no pressure on fish at all lovely bit of weather as well nice and sunny so it's told me float let it all straighten out then I know it's all directly in line with where I want it put me a bit of corn in and sit and wait Hopefully if it stays like this it won't be a bad day at all. Catch loads of fish on this method I do. It's one that's often overlooked as well to be honest. People are more like pellet orientated this year, this time of year and obviously this day and age. Yeah the fish are reared on pellets and you'll catch a lot of fish on pellets. But tends to pick out a few bigger fish does corn. A bit more durable as well so if you miss bites it tends to stay on. Whereas if you're fishing soft pellets you can miss bites and your pellet comes off nice cheap way of fishing as well you can get a tin of corn from the supermarket oh, like I say I like to use this F1 corn I just like the smell of it it's new, nice and durable nice crunchy fish tend to love it as well but we'll see if we can catch some more oh if that's all to go by I think we'll catch a few to be honest be nice to get odd carp as well mixed in but whatever comes along we'll take it because I've got that 
quick bite and quick response to the feed as well. I, I won't give it longer than five minutes. If I haven't had a bite, I'll come in and just reintroduce some more bits of corn. Obviously, these lakes are full of fish, so as long as you put little bits in often, you should keep pikes coming throughout the day. Oh, there we go. That's another one. It's going to be a nice day. That's another one. Just put that there so that wind don't blow it. Don't feel like from this one. I was going to say it's biting a little bit different. They're all still more than welcome though. Look at that lovely fish. Get a quick look. I haven't had many F1s today to be fair, it's mainly been little carp. But just unlocking. If I can get the hook. And I'll hold him up and then we'll take a look at the rig. Give you a run through rig that I've been using to catch them. There we go. Lovely little F1. So I'll slip him back and let's have a look at the rig. So I'm going to give you a quick run through rig that we've been using today to catch these fish. So starting off at the business end, I've got an 11 hybrid slip. Lovely elastic, lovely colour as well to be fair. It's nice when you see it going all over at peg. <laughs> Coming down main line, I've got an O15 power line. Um, the float that we've got on is an F1 pellet, so that's in a 4x14. Obviously, we've got a little bit of a ripple here. It's pretty deep, and we want the float still as we can. And nitrate wires, stems, just help with the stability of these, and we've got a nice visible tip on there as well. Perfect for this sort of fishing. Down to the hook length, so we've got an O13 power line, and that's accompanied with a 16 GPM hook. Nice and sharp, barbless obviously to go with fishery rolls, perfect for corn, pellet, maggot, whatever you want to put on it really, nice and sharp. And then we've just got a strung bulk of number eight stops. So that's it, all pinned down to the bottom, got a couple, like an inch or so on deck just to keep it all still. And that's accompanied with a couple of number nine back shot just to help keep everything stable and hopefully catch a few more fish. It's another one on then. It's really important when you are fishing corn. An F1. I was hoping for a carp. That obviously you keep that bit of bait going in and keep them rooting around. That's what they're looking for is the fish. So you've got to keep it going in regular. Just unhook him and hold him up. I'm hoping to get a few more carp as well, but we don't mind F1s. I'll take them, I will. Let's put him back. Slide another bit of corn on. Let's see if, see if we can catch another one. I'll show you how to put the bit of corn on. So I like to slide it down, roll it on, and I'm going to put some. Oh, in my pot. So, half a dozen, ten pieces. And ship back out. Obviously, I do like corn because it's really heavy. That's one of the reasons that I like to, to use it. So, it sits on the bottom, usually reduces the amount of foul lookers. Obviously, you're still possibly going to get foul lookers. I don't know what it is, it doesn't seem very big. I don't know, he's moving a bit now. He's a fish. It's all that matters. Just showing you how to catch a few fish using just corn. Didn't seem very big at first, but we've got him. Come on. Nice heavy bait on the bottom, sat there. Just couldn't resist it, could he? Get out from under there.
This is when it all goes a bit. Big dog, come on. <laughs> Nicely manoeuvred. Tried to do me, it did. There we go, nice mirror. Nearly did me under them boards, you've got to be careful. If that does happen though, just keep your rig away from it in the post if possible. Because as soon as it hits them post, it's just going to break. There we go. A bit eventful, but we got there. Nice little stocky carp. Looks like a brand new one, to be honest. Look at that. Like a newly stocked fish, holding his fin up and everything. Yeah. There we go. Oh, just caught my jumper. Popping back. A bit eventful, but we got there. So I'll catch another one. So, literally, pick out my little bit of corn that I want. Look, that is so. Clean out slime off your line. Same with skimmers or out like that. You don't want any slime on your line. And then, same again. Just ten a dozen pieces of corn in my little pot. Ship out, as always. Line up with my fire bank marker. Drop it in. So I like to hold the rig, let everything straighten out. So you'll see when it all's dropped straight down. Lull me rigging and then just put my corning over the top. There, so that's back set, trap set, fishing again. Nice little fish that one was. Tried to do me a bit or having none of it. There we go. Oh, bite straight away. Same again, if you miss a bite, just lower it all in and hold on to it. Looks like there's a few fish there now. All we've done is fed them a few grains of corn, as you've seen. After every fish or every five, five to ten minutes, just keep bait going in regular and it'll keep fish coming. There's an indication there straight away. Nice little carp here though. Looked like he'd just been stopped. Not a mark on him. There we go. A few fish moving now. So we've got a nice visible tip, so just wait for it to bury. If you get indications, you don't want to be striking at them because you'll end up with foul lookers. But your bait shouldn't waft around too much, obviously. That's why we fish corn. It's a nice, heavy bait. Sits on bottom. And it don't waft up. Visual as well. Smells really sweet, crunchy, visual. Just can't love it. Catch all sorts on it, but mainly carp. You will catch F1s, barbel, bream. That's if they get a look in. But we can catch loads of fish on one tin of corn. Oh, there we go, that's another one. Simple as that. Feels like a bit of a better one does this. I'm hoping it's one of them lovely little carp that live in here. Or a bigger carp, I'm not fussy. I've had a F1 now a, a carp, even a little carp, but like a bit of a bigger one. I thought it was an F1, didn't I? That little common. Pulling a bit this one, so it's always a good sign. Nice on this Jura slip, just got to be careful, obviously. The platforms go out into the water a bit here, and it's a deep rig, so I've just got to. Try to keep it under control and keep it in front of me. Easier said than done sometimes, but we'll do his best. If it goes under, you've just got to keep your line away from the pole. It's important. Obviously, if your line touches it when it's under tension, it's just going to break. But we seem to be doing all right out there. It's nice to get a few bites anyway. It's going quite well. It's what we like. All on this bit of corn. Come on fish, come on up. 
Not in. Up. Wonder what it is, isn't it? A cap. A barbel, I haven't seen it yet. I know there's some barbel in this lake as well. Oh, big barbel. Go on. <laughs> Look at him. I'm gonna say it was fighting hard, but I couldn't see him. I'm gonna hold him up because I love these fish. One of my favourites. Let's take the hook out. Nicely hooked in the corner of his mouth. Look at that. Look at that for a fish. It's what Westwood's all about. These big barbel. Lovely fish they are. I'll get one more. And then I'm gonna go to catching a few fish, I think. Let's see if we can get one. Oh, what a surprise he was. I thought it was gonna be a nice cap, to be honest with you. Put up a bit of a fight, a decent fight, but then Barbel and Notorious, when it's hard to get their heads up, once they're up, they're up, but that initial fight. So same again, nice little bit of corn. Hook through, get rid of whatever that is. A bit of weed or something on my hook, don't want that. Same again, feed 10, 12 grains of corn. Put them in my pot. Back out to the same spot. Ah, right, pleased with him. Made my day. Do like a nice big barbel. There, floats sat lovely as well. Floats are perfect for these, these F1 pellets. Especially when there's a little bit of wind on water and it's quite deep, is that? That knife right wire just stables it all up and it sits perfect. Just waiting for the next culprit to come along. Smell the lovely corn. Eat it. <laughs> there we go. Another fish. Nice one to end it on as well as this. That's it. I've had a lovely day's fishing. Bring him around. Hopefully this one doesn't try do me. He did, but I got him. <laughs> Look at that. Definitely newly stocked fish these. Got a bright future on him. Let me just unhook him. I'm going to take my hook out and I'll hold him up for you. Should see the size of his shoulders on this. Look at that. Stunning little fish he is. Look at that. How nice is he? Look at the size of his shoulders on him. Got a big future ahead. Going to be a big fish. Thanks for watching guys. Hope you've enjoyed it and picked up a few tips about how many fish you can catch just on one tin of corn. And I'll see you again sometime. Cheers, guys.